My name is Brent Howell, and I want to tell you about a silent epidemic that is making our children sleepier, sicker, and less productive. Until about a year ago, I was tired all the time. I've had just about every treatment available to treat my breathing disorders and my obstructive sleep apnea. What I found out is that with obstructive sleep apnea, you are choking on your own body each and every night, potentially multiple times a minute. Although you may not be aware, your brain is putting you into that fight or flight system. When chronically experienced, has immense repercussions on both your body and your mind. Sleep-related breathing disorders have been linked to ADD, ADHD, anxiety, depression, cognitive impairment, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, erectile dysfunction, and even increased rates of orthopedic and sports injuries. By some estimates, 30% of children have some sort of sleep-related breathing disorder or facial abnormality that prevents breathing. The average IQ drops for these kids about 15 points. A lot of these patients who would have lived normal lives are gonna need assistance for their entire life because of not getting the sleep corrected in time. A child may not be able to sit still. A child may throw a tantrum. A child may be wetting the bed. When you just make sure that people can breathe well at night, a lot of things start self-correcting. We need to get children into the hands of clinicians who can nurture and monitor the growth and development of their craniofacial structure and jaws so they can properly breathe, sleep, and function in life. One of the great things in the practice is, is how we change lives. We have a, a patient that presented our office, a, a young girl who was having a lot of difficulties. She'd already tried to commit suicide twice. She was overweight, couldn't breathe through her nose, and had jaw joint issues. No one could find anything that would help her. We knew what the problem was and could address it. It was life-changing for her. I got a letter from her psychiatrist, which was the third psychiatrist she'd been seeing. He said when he saw her, she's just a different girl, so. There are incredible people already addressing these issues across the country and across the globe. The problem is they have to educate parents, patients, and communities one person at a time. And often they face immense skepticism. What I believe will help is to create a film that will effectively communicate in mass. I would like to harness the power of patient stories so that we can create awareness and thus increase the demand for these services. We hope this film will inspire a paradigm shift so that together we can overcome this silent epidemic. I hope you will help us by contributing or investing in the film. Thank you so much.